Smutty Nose. Now, as I understand it, the brewery and the property with the restaurant are two separate pieces. They're not the same piece of property. Well, I mean, they're they're all together, but isn't it two separate entities? Same I, business, same business, same owners. Oh, okay. Uh, because I saw the same, you know, report that, that you gave us that Jim referenced. I think at the point in time where the new owner or owners is ready to sign on the dotted line and want to come in and get our approval or whatever we have to do, they have to have a pre-treatment facility in there. I don't want to see people losing their jobs because I know they're employing a good number of people to produce the beer. And I like beer as much as anybody. Maybe they'll be Welch's lager. I don't, know. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they can't keep doing this and they can't keep loading that uh, effluent into our treatment plant. We've had enough problems. We're looking at $41 million to rehabilitate the treatment plant. And I think we need to have something locked in there, period, as to what they are going to be dumping into our system. They've got three now, three citations for what they're putting in. And uh, I also think that we should sit down and discuss that industrial surcharge fee in depth and see whether it is it should be applicable to the smutty nose situation. We're not going to roll over and play dead as taxpayers. We really need to get accountability there. 